square. And K fastened his own little slits to it, so that when it went away, he followed with it. It went faster and faster right through the next street. And then the person who drove turned around and noted, nodded pleasantly to K, just as if they were acquainted with one another. Well, but whenever K wished to loosen his little sleds, the driver nodded again. Then he suddenly loosened the cord so that the large sled might go on without him. But it was of no use. The little carriage held fast. And away they went like the wind. Then he called out loud. Stop! Who are you? But nobody heard him. While the snow beat upon him and his sled flew onward. Every now and then it gave a little jump. And we're going over hedges and ditches. I can't tell you folks that that boy, he was frightened. The snowflakes became larger and larger till they appeared like great white chickens. All at once they sprang on one side. The great sledge stopped. And the person who had driven it rose up. He saw a lady tall and white. It was the snow queen. <laughs> we have driven well, but why do you tremble? Here, creep into my warm fur. Are you still cold? The kiss was colder than ice. It went through his heart, which was already almost a lump of ice. He felt as if he were going to die, but only for a moment. He soon, he soon seemed quite well again and did not notice the cold around him. The Snow Queen kissed little Kay again, and by this time he had forgotten little Gerda, his grandmother, and all at home. Now you must have no more kisses, or I should kiss you to death. Kay looked at her and saw that she was so beautiful. He could not imagine a more lovely and intelligent face. She did not now seem to be made of ice, as when he had seen her through his window when she had nodded to him. In his eyes, she was perfect, and he did not feel at all afraid. He told her he could do mental arithmetic as far as fractions, and that he knew the number of square miles and the number of inhabitants in the country. And she always smiled so that he thought he did not enough, he did not know enough yet. And he looked around the vast expanse as she flew higher and higher with him, while the storm blew and howled as if it were singing old songs. Now they flew over woods and lakes, over sea and land. Below them roared the wild wind. The wolves howled the snow crackled. Over them flew the black screaming crow. And above all shone the moon, clear and bright. And so Kay passed through the long winter's night, and by day he slept at the feet of the snow queen.